<laughs> From Westminster City Park in Westminster, Colorado, this is the 2019 USAFL Central Regional Championships. You can't ask for a better backdrop than the Rocky Mountains in the background. My name is Brian Barris. Great to have your company wherever you're joining us here on USAFL.com. This first game of Men's Division II between the Chicago Swans and the Nashville Kangaroos. And we are underway here in Colorado, knocked forward by the Kangaroos who are in the red, white, and blue. They're going from left to right. That one is kicked forward, but settling under that one while flying through there for a chance was Zach Vanderplug, one of the members of the uh, Des Moines Roosters uh, on this national side. And they come out to the near side for the, for the Swans. And that's Ben Judge. Judge will go in short and now kicking back the other way. Great smother in there. The ball goes out of bounds. Brad Chimbo in there. Chimbo hey, clock getting it, clock uh, the kick and that one was smothered. Good job in there by the 45, which is Nana Coleman. Chicago has eight players, it looks like, from the Des Moines Roosters on their side. Ball comes back in the play right in front of us. That one is kicked and that's going to sail away and go out on the pull. The number one there for uh, the Kangaroos. Oh, Tony Wilhelm, thank you. And that one is hit forward. Jason Wilhelm wearing the shorts of the Arizona Hawks is in the club. And, oh, touch. Uh, touch, and they're going to say that was playing on from the kick from uh, 18, which was a Johnny Crossley. Now back the other way. Bootleg action there by uh, Tim Pryor for the Swans and finds a connection out on the far side. Just underway, no score. We have two pools, six teams, two pools of three. The winner of each pool will play in the grand final a little bit later on today. Nashville moving the ball forward, Mark up on the far side. Kangaroos sending that one forward. One-on-one -on -one contest over the head there of uh, 24, which is Nicholas Hitchman. And uh, still in play on the far side. And picked up by Tim Dunn, number 11, but it looks like the ball may have gone out of bounds first. And in fact, that is the call. We'll have a boundary throw. And Tim Dunn, the president of the Nashville Kangaroo side, who hosted national uh, regionals last year. And it's a much different backdrop, but we don't have a DC-80s flying in the background uh, this, this year. It's a little bit more picturesque. So boundary throwing, far side, knocked down by the 10 there, which was uh, Jeff Kramer. And that one is cleared out by the Kangaroo, sending that one forward, goes to ground. Wilhelm was in there on the... Uh, on the contest, and then big tackle in there from behind by Jeff Person. Well, Jeff's going to be doing all sorts of double duty today. He's going to be playing, he's going to be umpiring, he's going to be supervising the umpires. Wilhelm in there on the ruck. That's a very handy ruck that they have. Picking that one up and running his prior again for Chicago. Tries to go in short, and that one is marked. Kangaroos standing up in the middle here. That one off the side of the foot, out to the near side, and all alone for the mark is Steven Vandekamp. He'll swing out for the far side, over the head, looking for Chamberlain. And coming over to get it now, picked up by the Swans, but tackled by Chamberlain quickly, as he was, Vanderplug was the set upon very quickly. Still no score, opening game. Ball comes spinning back in the play. Chicago attacking. They have for most of the early going. Ball gets knocked down. That was a throw. Yep. Improper disposal was the signal, but that was absolutely a throw. And if you're new to Aussie rules football, the only way you can move the ball by your hands is uh, by handballing. Great smother in there off the kick. The smother by the 35, who was um, Joey Abdallah, also from Des Moines. And in there trying to make amends there is the eight for Nashville. And now the ball goes out of bounds. And we'll have a boundary throw. And Nashville is in the attack going from left to right. Said Chicago earlier. First of many mistakes I'll make on the day, I'm sure. It's the only one that fit. We tried an extra one. Ball comes spinning back in the play now. Ball comes back down. And picking that one up. Chicago trying to move that one forward. One on one contest. John Freeman again looking for Van de Camp. Ball gets skittled free. Picked up there by David Martin for Chicago. And he is wrapped up for Christmas. And we will have a ball up. 
John Freeman, member of the USA Revolution team that went to the International Cup in 2017. Also a pretty good play-by-play -play, uh, guy in his own right, calling uh, college basketball and soccer. One of these days I'll get him over here, but meanwhile Chicago will kick that one to the near side. Oh, big collision right in front of us as uh, Freeman, or Coleman rather, and Freeman coming together in three-part har harmony or at least whatever the Aussie rules equivalent of that is, and we'll have a boundary throw it. Standing back in the play, Wilhelm slaps it down, and the ball goes out of bounds. And um, normally that would have been deliberate, but no call there, and it shouldn't have been, because I think that was the old rule. Again, Wilhelm able to knock it down. Ball comes out to the near side, again looking for Chamberlain. Chamberlain stays with it, picks that one forward. And again, here comes Nashville's first real opportunity inside 50, but it's dropped, and the ball will go out of bounds. It'll be a boundary throw in. Chicago coming off a couple of wins in the 60-35 uh, tournament that uh, Des Moines hosted, and they've hosted every year for the last decade. Good, handballing around, and here come the Swans out. Again, looking for Coleman, but there's again Coleman and Freeman, and Frio takes a nice mark over the top. Good defense by Coleman, but it's John Freeman. Virginia native throws that one onto the right. That one's up high. Three on three contest. Freeman able to win. Got just barely got a handball away. Big stand up there, and it'll be a free kick, and it will come all the way back to the 33. Who is Logan Monday? Who is best and fairest in Division Four last year? Or actually, he was uh, most consistent. Monday on Saturday, sends that one forward. Again, trying to clear that one out of the back of the Swans. 25 there was somebody. And out of the back they come. Well, that's what's gonna, gonna happen when the numbers aren't in numerical order. And it'll be a free kick again to Monday. The Nashville bench calling for 50, they're not gonna get it. Or it might even be the Houston Peanut Gallery, I'm not sure which. In any event, it's a free kick, and that one is sent forward. Again, Nashville, that one is tipped off the top. Big collision in there. Ball comes to the ground. They spin that one out. Again, stacks on the mill. Skittle forward. Wilhelm couldn't get a, a, free, a decent kick away, and now he's pushing and shoving his way towards the sticks. It's in front, and uh, I think that was Chamberlain in front and wrapped up quickly there, and down they go, and I believe that was... Not O'Brien, that was Craig Scott, one of the roosters. There'll be a job. ball up in the goal square. He's going the ball funny. goes in the air, <laughs> Wilhelm able to knock it down, and Kramer able to knock that one out, and here they come. Again, that's Scott. Handballed up over the top, great job, and here come the Swans, trying to hit in transition. Straight in the middle of the ground, it'll drop in front, chasing after it there was a 32, who is James Duty, and he's on duty in the middle of the ground. Skittles free, and they'll keep that one forward, will the Swans. Uh, looks like Strap sending that one forward, and here they come. They're gonna look to go inside 50 for the first time. And they've given the ball up. Then they keep it. And ball up over the top. 49 in there that you see is a Peter Bailey, again from Des Moines. And sends that one inside. Ball goes to ground and a whistle. And looks like tackle without the football and a free kick. It will go the way of the Swan. So Chicago, who had really been on the back foot for most of this first half, and they're going to get a legitimate scoring a chance here. Stepping forward, because you're mine, I walk the line. Kick is up on the way. It is dead center, perfect. And the Chicago Swans get one chance, and they catch it in for a sausage roll. Chicago, one straight six. Nashville, no score. Eight minutes and 50 seconds gone, unofficially in this first quarter. We have three divisions going on today, two men's divisions and a women's division. Division one has three teams, Denver, Minnesota, and Boston, and they will play four 15-minute quarters. We'll have, uh, I'll be doing the one game later on between Denver and Boston, but here in here and now, Nashville trying to reply here, and in a big contest, sending that one up forward. Here comes the number 20 for Nashville, and that one is 
past the Dutch heel on the right hand side, and that one is through four behind. And the number 20 in there is Eric Topher, who is a good offensive player, played well last year at, at regionals. So six to one is the score. Stu Nickel, by the way, number one for the Chicago Swans, a native of Scotland, who played on the Scottish national team at the past couple of Euro Cups, kicking the goal for Chicago. But now it's Nashville, again, asserting themselves. Handball's up over the top. Over to get it is the 26, which is Keane, sending that one in, and... Ball goes to ground, Chicago trying to get it out of there quickly. 24, there is Vanderplug once again. Hands up over the top, and that one again is behind the stick. And again, well, it looks like it might be, well, I don't know. It is gonna be a free kick, it was out on the floor. Chicago's defense looking really good so far. They send that one up on the far side, ball goes to ground. Little shovel handball, here they come, kick on the way, and missed everything across the face. Nashville right now looking for the proverbial needle and the proverbial haystack in terms of scoring. They're down 6-1, to one, now halfway through this first half. Ball comes back into play, punched forward, and again, they're marooned in their own territory as Pryor tries to get it out. And now eventually they do. Long handball by Ben Judge. Another Revo player in this game. And it's turned over. Nashville staying with it. Picking that one up is the number eight who will send that one forward. That's Joel Thornton. And again, it's going through for a minor score. Nashville pressuring here, but they're not making their chances count. They go to two points, two straight behinds. Chicago, one straight goal, that's six. Margin is four points. This guy, that's the business. is only like $120 an hour. I can get him down to me. Come out to the near side, will the Swans march by 35, who is a fella. Des Moines, the only team in the country that can kick off by Freeman. One of the only teams in the country that does not have any Australians. They're all American players, which is very fascinating, and they're, and they're a very successful team. And that one is sent in towards the sticks. Great spoil by, in defense, and they handball it in front for an easy shot, and there it is. First goal of the game, it goes to the number five for the Nashville Kangaroos. I don't have. But in any event, Nashville, that's their first major score of the game. One, two, eight. Chicago, one straight six. 12 minutes and 40 seconds gone here in the first half. Ball will come back in the middle of the ground once again. Swans in the. In the uh, Kangaroos, Wilhelm again, another knock, knock forward for Nashville. Into the middle of the ground now. And then kicking, oh, good smother in there. And then going to pick that one up and handballing that one off is Cameron Payne. Payne sends that one in forward. And again, another behind. Well, Nashville at least getting the chances here. And another minor score. Off the foot of Payne. One, three, nine, Nashville. One straight six. For Chicago, as they send that one back in the play on the near side, rising high and going down again was Kramer. And again, they pick that one up, send that one in for goal, and it's good. Another goal, and that one is off the foot of Eric Monroe. Up through for behind. Thank you. Well, everyone got pretty excited. In fact, it was a behind. So, Monroe, one of uh, two players from the Wisconsin Wombats playing on this Nashville team, 1-4-10 to one straight six. And right now, it is that those four behinds that are the difference in the game. Wilhelm, little shovel handball in the middle again, that's pain. Skitters across like a cockroach on the bathroom floor. Handballs it back in the middle of the ground. Picked up by Duty. And a whistle and 
We have somebody down, as it turns out, and the time off has been called. We're going to stay here for just a moment just to see what the nature of the injury is. <laughs> the score, it's the Nashville Kangaroos 1-4-10, the Chicago Swans 1 straight 6. And one of the, like my first day working for them, they were inspecting the drones at the time, and they said that we had to be off the, like, out of sight on the property, so there's a barn there. I mean, all went in the barn, but there was a, there was a uh, And drilling. the player who is down is coming off the field now, and I can't see who it is. And, uh, Looks like 16 for Nashville, which is Cody yeah. McLean. So we're going to get restarted again. And we've got uh, 15 and a half minutes gone, so there will be some added time on for um, the injury. And Tony Wilhelm, Jason Wilhelm, and his wife Melissa is here, part of the driving force of the rebirth of the Arizona Hawks. And we're underway again. Ball in the air, and again, it's Wilhelm with the knockout, but not to advantage. And uh, off the hands there of uh, Percy Davis. And Davis is going to find... Well, it was a call, and kicking that one forward was uh, Baron Vesteca. And uh, they are, it looks like they are going to give a 50-meter penalty, or maybe they're not. They probably should have, but in any event, that one's kicked forward. Knocked down again. Staying with it is Davis, as well as Vesteca. Little one-two, and Davis gets it back. But unfortunately, he can't run through the red gauntlet. And down he goes. Judge in there for a great tackle. So here is Chicago, down by four. They trail 10 to six. Later stages, first half, two 20 minute halves. They'll go down the corridor into the sea of bodies in that corner. And then that one is sent in towards the sticks. Nice mark! Reaching up into the apple tree and pulling down a bushel was the number 12 in Gordon Barnett. So Barnett will go back and try and put his team back on top. And again, this is really the only, only two decent scoring chances that the Swans have had. Barnett will make sure, try to make sure that they cash in on both of them. So the kick will come from about, let's call this 25 meters out, about a 45 degree angle. Very slow walk in, but the kick is true, and the Swans are back in front here in Westminster. On the ATC scoreboard, it's the Chicago Swans, two straight 12, the Nashville Kangaroos, one for 10, 17 and a half minutes gone. <laughs> Kangaroos leave with a three and one record this season. Only a loss coming against the uh, Columbus Cats in the tournament with the Ohio Valley River Rats. Defeated Chicago earlier this season in Nashville. Swans. As Kramer comes across and takes the mark. Richie. Oh, it's Richie. And up on that far side near that pavilion. Little handball, little shovel handball, and having a little bit of a problem with that was uh, 25 in there. Now we'll come back the other way. This is Nashville. Sending out for nice mark. Spearing that one forward again was Payne, who's had the ball a lot toward the ruse. Drops in front again. Uh, this is Bailey, who'll go in short. It clean bowls the man. Going ahead to pick it up again is the number five. We still don't have a number four. He's going to turn that one in, inboard. Nice mark. Cutting across was Topher. And Topher will go back and fancy himself here. With the ruse trailing by two. So, Topher off of three steps. Looks pretty good off the boot. And it is dead center perfect. Nashville back on top, and we are officially on the seesaw. And that comes at the stroke of halftime and the score. 
After 20 minutes of play, it's the Nashville Kangaroos, two goals, four behinds, 16 points. Chicago, two straight 12 goal kickers, the number five, and we'll try and get you numbers for for Nashville, while Chicago's two goals have come from Nickel and Barnett. We're going to step aside, come right back with the second half of this one. You're watching the 2000 and... Well, now everybody's not moving. Hang on. I think that may have been for the other field. Stop this time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're going to play 30 more seconds. Forget everything that I just said. We have 30 seconds left. I quit. Uh, I'd be, for the real now, I'd have time to score. <laughs> Kangaroo 16, the Swans 12. We'll be back, I hope. You're watching the 2019 USAFL Central Regional Championships from Denver here on USAFL.com. Oh, yeah.